What is up everybody, Isaac Okuson here with Civil Engineering Academy. I'm jumping on real quick with another quick tip video. Today we want to talk about some tips as well as some test taking strategies for the Civil PE exam. So we're going to have something here for you. Hang around and uh, let's get to it. So let's talk about some tips as well as some test taking strategies when taking the civil PE exam. Right now the exam obviously is every April and October. Um, so you got a six month cycle that, that's always there. Um, you know as the exam gets closer I obviously preach um, all the time about taking practice problems, practice exams and uh, that's a huge key to passing the exam right. But when you're getting ready to take the exam there's a couple tips. Um, obviously you're going to be nervous when you're going to take this exam. Um, whether it's your first time or your fourth time, uh, there's always a bit of nerves going on there and everybody's going through the same thing. So uh, my tip for that, you know, make sure you're giving yourself as much sleep as possible the night before. Um, you need to be well rested. Uh, eat, eat a good breakfast, something that's going to keep you going. You can bring snacks and things like that with you into the exam if it's in a clear bag. But I have found that, you know, for me personally, you're so involved in the exam, I'm not going to be sitting there munching on stuff unless, I mean, unless you have time to do that. So, um, you know, make sure you're well rested. That's going to help you out uh, big time. Um, another one is, uh, you know, just take breaths before you, the exam. Is When they say start to go, you're going to be nervous about reading through every problem as quickly as possible. Just take your time on it. Um, you know, you've got eight hours, you've got a morning and an afternoon exam that's broken up. Um, just take your time, work your way through the problem, read through it, write down all the unknowns, all the knowns that you know, um, and, and solve it the best you can. So, um, you know, take some deep breaths, calm yourself down, you're going to get through it, I promise. Uh, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about briefly is basically um, during the test, uh, as you're taking the test, what are some strategies about surrounding guessing or trying to figure out what the best answer is? Um, on every P exam, they always throw in a few very hard problems. Call it, you only have six minutes per problem to solve uh, every problem. And if it looks like they're going to throw something on the exam that looks like it's just going to take way longer than that, or you just weren't prepared for that question at all, then just put a little check mark, work the rest of the exam, and come back to it. Um, now, if you have found yourself where you just can't solve the problem, typically you can eliminate one or two answers, and if you do that, you know, your chances of guessing go way up. So, um, you know, if you can eliminate two, prob two, two answers to each of these questions that you're struggling on, you're giving yourself over 50, you know, about a 50% chance on the guess. So, uh, those are all things that you're going to work through right in the middle of the exam. Yeah, but you know, they're a little strategy that it's kind of fun to hear uh, about. So, um, hopefully, that helps you. Another big surprise that people always have on the exam is how much theory there is on the exam. So, I don't want that to be a surprise um, for you either. So, be well prepared for theory type problems and whether that means just bringing in a textbook so that will help you look up um, you know answers to the question or something like that I, I always recommend bringing in a textbook because that's going to help you a lot um, but those will help you get through a lot of the theory problems so don't be surprised or caught off guard by those you're probably going to get 10 to 15 problems in the morning and in the afternoon that are just straight up theory problems so kind of crazy um, so anyway hopefully those help you out um, so that's going to do it. Those are some of the you know quick tips, quick strategies on taking the PE exam and hopefully those things um, kind of open your eyes to a few things, get you self-aware of the exam that's coming up and help you better prepare for it. So uh, if you'd like to learn more about the PE exam, head to our uh, website, Civil Engineering Academy. We have free practice problems. We have exams that you can take there. Uh, we even have a, a whole review course that you can take. So check that out as well. Anyway, uh, I enjoy coming on here and trying to help you guys. Uh, I know that getting the PE will help boost your career uh, professionally and personally, and it's going to be good stuff. So anyway, thanks for hanging around, and we will catch you on the next one. Bye.